Okay, folks, today's job in the never ending scenario of fixing our vacuum flush toilet system and upgrading is replacing the bellows on uh, one of the uh, toilets. The main toilet that we use is up in the master, the uh, VIP cabin, I guess you call it, in the V berth. And we have uh, a separate washroom there with a second toilet, as you have seen from my previous videos. And the bellows has failed on this thing. So today's job is to replace the bellows. So to take that off, we have to remove the motor, which is just bolted through here. There's four bolts, two at the top, two at the bottom. So the motor, which I have off, just bolts on behind this bracket. And there's just uh, short machine bolts. Again, 5 16 head. This thing's about three quarters of an inch long. And you have to remove that motor assembly. Don't have to cut any wires or anything. It just the four bolts come out, and then there's one, which is more or less like a set screw here, that goes through to the shaft. So there's five altogether. Take that one out first, and then those four. Now what I had to do because the pump was off, right? Because you know it's 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 like a, a crankshaft, so it's got you know it's oblong, right? So I was able to get at three of the bolts, but this one was. The last one down there was hidden behind here. So all I did was I kept hitting the, the power switch. Because of course it's off now. I don't want to take my fingers off or anything. So what I did, I just kept doom, doom, doom a few times just to get it to cycle up to where it was more or less top dead center. And then I could get all four. And that's how it's going to go back in together, right? And like I said, there's just two of these uh, wood screw holes behind there, which are underneath that it's impossible to get at even if you had a wrench and you could reach behind there the screws are too long they would uh, bottom out on the motor as you can see here <clears throat> excuse me on the other one and there's the screw the other one's right there and I barely have enough room between that and my finger well you probably get at that one but this one definitely not it's there's not enough height there's not enough clearance between the bottom of the motor and the top of the screw once you start screwing it out so that was a bit of a dicking around job. The only caution I would give you on that would be put a cloth or something, put a paper towel in here because this is open uh, inside to the inside part of the uh, bellows itself. So if you drop the screw, you're screwed. <laughs> You'll have to take it all apart, take it out, tip it over to get that thing out. And of course you don't want to leave in that in there because that'll just <laughs> and cause that to fail uh, prematurely. And we don't, none of us want premature failure. Now one more quick note, what I did was I just scratched two uh, lines. You can probably see them there and there. I just took a screwdriver and went whoop, whoop, before I took out the last screw. So that way I know it's orientated the way it was from the factory. Pretty slick, eh? Okay, I'm going to pull that out again. Uh, anyways, I'll show you what, how that works. That just comes out, comes up like that see that just sits in there so I just do 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 I'm gonna take that out work on it outside in the sunshine and the clear the clear air and just put a rag over that so I've got that top assembly off now and there's the old bellows and uh, I'm going to take that outside and scrub it and clean it because it stinks really bad obviously it's immersed in poo all day <laughs> and here is the replacement bellows and as you can see it's just looks like uh, polyethylene plastic and uh, when I picked this up at the store the supplier says you're lucky if you get five years out of this thing now this boat today uh, it's got a good 15 years on it and so if that hasn't been replaced i'm sure it, it must have but anyways um this is all there is to it and now it comes with um well I actually order this separately but this is uh supplier had that as well the o-ring kit for that and i'm guessing that when this comes apart i don't know how to separate that yet but i'll figure that out and there's got to be an o-ring in there now what has happened what had happened since it's cracked when it's getting by the bellows and 
I don't know if you can see the liquid in there. Yeah, so as it was pumping, it was actually splashing out just very, very little, but more so the stink was the issue, as you could well imagine. See that O-ring goes in there. There's actually only two O-rings in this kit. I thought there was three, but this one was just doubled up. And then that housing will slide into there. And then once that's on, this uh, clamp will just fit over it. Good and tight to hold it all together. Now you see these uh, C-shaped clamps, two piece, to slide over that good and tight. I don't know. Maybe too bright to see it. You see how it's notched out to fit inside there. Make it all snug and secure. Okay, now with it all reassembled, and you'll see that the uh, C clamp just clamps around it to hold it in tight. That's just pressure fit. There's no uh, screws. There's no mechanical devices. Uh, there's no mechanical anchoring. And of course, the connecting rod is lined up to line up with the shaft of the motor once it goes back in. Now, the only other thing I got to do is check for the other um, O ring. This big O-ring is going to sit at the top of the uh, actual housing, I believe, because it fits on here kind of loose. So uh, let's see what that looks like going back in. Okay, now that it's all reassembled, remember I said that uh, I had that connecting rod, that shaft lined up top dead center. Uh, <laughs> trust me, you will not get those four uh, screws back in to mount the motor without there's just too much pressure on it so I learned that the hard way so I just uh, gave it a quick shot and just uh, was able to drop it down and get three screws in and then boom again uh, quick shot get the uh, fourth one and then tighten them all up and that is just about it the only thing that is left to do after I test it of course is to put this cover plate back on, which really doesn't do much it's not not waterproof just to uh, protect thingies and stuff from getting stuck in there so I'm gonna give it a shot okay I'm gonna give it another flush and see that you count the cycles with me they're usually in average in around 60 which I'm guessing is normal Seventy or seventy-one, I counted there. So that's that's about normal for us. I've uh, looked online a few times to see what average is, and nobody's uh, ever made mention of that. So you can compare with yours. Uh, a couple of quick notes. Now that that project's all done, thankfully, um, this kit with the bellows came with a spare part. For my instance, anyways, it's a big bolt, and I'm sure that's the one that goes through the shaft. Uh, and connects to the motor um, the screw that came with mine is very very small it's maybe a quarter inch if that three sixteenths 
thread and this one is not looks like close to three eighths so i'm guessing this is for um, a different version a newer version we have the s style pumps and this is good for both the s and the t style pumps from uh, domitech sealand um the other thing is uh why didn't i take the pump out to do the job it would have been an, uh, you would think it would be would have been easier than having to grunt and groan and work down in this these confines but if you look at my uh channel and i'll leave you a link in the description the video that i did last year where we replaced all the poop lines on this boat um that the lines that go between the uh, vacuum accumulator tank and the pump as well as the pump too there's a y valve where the two uh um, poop lines come together from the two separate toilets they're very short there may be a foot and there's almost no flexibility and it was a ultimate bitch of a job to get those hoses off and the fittings off and replace the um the duck bill valves while i was at it so it was just a lot easier trust me to leave that in place take everything out and then put it back uh down there it wasn't too too bad now that i know how straightforward it is um i would do the other one in without hesitation um one other thing is only last week i replaced the um the pressure switch on the vacuum accumulator tank because this one was just running 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 i had done an adjustment on it last year and again i'll put a link to that video to show you how that was done and it just was not working anymore so i uh got a new one put that on our toilet and then took the one off of our toilet and put it on the on the the day head um, which isn't used as much so now everything's pretty much brand new from toilet to tank including the tank all the way through except for the only line that I didn't change is the main line that goes um, through the bulkhead and through the engine compartment because that would be just a nightmare to do behind the engine and everything else so I've left that uh, right now we're smell free and hopefully that uh, is uh, maintains um, one final final thing uh, you may notice that the video is off a little bit on this because it is still you know 1080 but this is just my small uh, Canon power shot handheld camera uh, with these stinky poopy hands I didn't want to get out my uh, nice expensive Sony camera to film this so that's that and that is another long-winded um, poop job hopefully that's the last one this year <laughs> so like i say i will put links to both the the pressure switch video or poop line video and oh yeah uh, adjusting that pressure switch on the vacuum accumulator accumulator tank actually i think i got a whole playlist of all those videos i'm not sure i got so many freaking videos over 600 on my channel and so many playlists but i think i'm pretty sure i have that all in a playlist and i'll make sure they're all together and i will make sure i include that in the description the link to that <clears throat> okay so that's it hopefully this is the last time you and i will be discussing vacuum flush toilets on this boat all righty have a good one cheers